Hey everybody and welcome to Top 5. There's a rumor that the next Apple iPhone will get rid of the headphone jack. That sounds insane! But when you think about it, Apple does insane stuff like that all the time. These are the top five times Apple killed a technology. At number five, floppy drives. So that save icon with a rectangle with an edge cut off at an angle, it was a visual representation of a floppy disk. Back in the day, it was a safe place to save your files. In 1998, Apple's iMac dumped the floppy drive entirely, replacing it with a CD drive, which brings us to number four, optical drives. Yet another thing Apple decided to kill off. The original MacBook Air was super thin and light when it was introduced back in 2008. However, it was missing something, no optical drive. If you had CDs or other software on disk, you'd have to use the remote disk feature of OS X or get a USB drive. Future laptops, including the MacBook Pro, then dropped optical drives. That compromise made sense on a portable device. Then Apple kicked out optical drives on its desktops too. Why? Because Apple kills things dead. That's why. Number three, Firewire. Apple was a big proponent of Firewire, otherwise known as IEEE 1394. This was a really fast interface that connected devices to computers. The very first iPod featured a full Firewire connector so you could quickly get lots of music onto its hard drive. Apple also showed off its products were for creative professionals since many camcorders featured Firewire. Slowly but surely, Firewire took a backseat to the fast USB 2.0 standard, then a backseat to the really fast USB 3.0 standard, then again to the really, really fast Thunderbolt interface. At number two, MagSafe. Ever trip on a laptop's power cable, then watch your laptop skate off a table and crash onto the ground? That was the problem Apple's MagSafe connector tried to fix. The AC adapter attached to MacBooks using magnets. You trip, the cable comes flying out, and your laptop is safe. Apple then replaced the original MagSafe with the introduction of a thinner MagSafe 2. However, the newest and thinnest MacBook introduced in 2015 drops MagSafe entirely for Apple's new buddy, USB-C. See how long they stay buddies. At number one, the 30 pin dock connector. Remember this thing? Apple's most successful iPods and iPhones use a 30 pin dock connector. Lots and lots of accessories supported plugging in an iDevice using that 30 pin thing. Then in 2012, Apple said, you're gonna wanna buy all new accessories when they introduce this, the lightning connector. Now to be fair, Apple introduced the optional 30 pin to lightning connector adapter. It was a nice gesture, but kind of clunky. That does it for us. Check out more top fives over at top5.cnet.com. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and we'll see you later.